Hello. Hi. I'm Natalie. I'm Tara. And this is Natalie and Tara Try Stuff. Surprise, you didn't know that's what the show was. Today, okay, we're both super, super excited because um, there is this channel. Oh my God. That we are in love with called uh, Townsend and Sons. It's Actually, they just changed it to Townsend. They do 18th century cooking. And we're big, big, <laughs> big, big fans. Tara's new goal in life is to do a crossover video with, um, with John Townsend. Townsend. Definitely check it out. They don't need her help. They don't but need go her help, watch, them. But watch them. You've never heard of it. Go watch it. We're gonna try to do two of their recipes. We're making a steak pudding. Don't be confused. It's not like a pudding pop. It's not chocolate. And then we're gonna make the mushroom ketchup. So you can watch Townsend and Son will tell you all about it. I'm not here to teach you. I'm here to try this and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna fail. If history has taught us anything, is that we fail at things. So we're gonna dive right in. Switch camera. Uh, first step is round beef round steak. We're gonna go ahead and two pounds of this. We're gonna finely chop. We're just taking the recipe that they did and we're trying it. Look, I have a Townsend knife. So it's supposed to be finely sliced and you're gonna season it. The magic of editing, we now have lots of meat. We cut all this meat. <laughs> so the next step after we've cut all of our meat is we need to make the paste for the dough bowl. There's this whole thing about suet, which suet <laughs> is the fat that is on a cow or a pig around its kidneys, which you can't get anywhere in the United States, evidently. I ordered some from Amazon and it's not here, which makes me very upset. So thank you, Winchester. Anyway, this is the stuff that uh, Townsend Sons recommends. It's a Fatworks Pure Tallow Premium Cooking Oil. We're gonna have to grate this so that it'll mix in with our flour. Right now it's kind of in a solid state. I'm just gonna run a fork across the top of it and a spoon and put it into a bowl and... This is where it starts to go down. Yeah, already, because I mean, and I looked online for an hour trying to find like the right answer to this, so I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna grate this into a bowl. And uh, I'm gonna put a counter on how many times this is a thing that might have caused the problem. Yeah. This is number one. Ding! Scraped all of this out of here and it uh, looks like dry, instant <laughs> mashed potato. But it's still kind of, I think, too thick in spots, so I'm gonna try to go and like break it up with this whisk. We're gonna say this is ready because I don't know what else we can do to it, so. <laughs> Ting this main everything up. So what you need is three cups of flour. All right, now we're gonna try to work this in there. The sit. Mix it in. <laughs> three. <laughs> what else goes in this? Water. And water, okay. okay. Now, it said some cold water. Some? Some, I'm thinking a cup. All right, now I'm gonna make a paste. I'm gonna make a very thick paste. Oh, it's tough dough. Jesus. Okay, I think we're at rollout stage. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> That's tough. This looks so much bigger than when they did <laughs> We have a step we have to do before we can do this. We have to boil the cloth. And we have our hot, wet cloth, which I don't know why. why not. But that's what they did, so that's what we're doing. All right, let's do this. I'm gonna move this over onto this end of this bowl. Oh, uh. yeah. So we just layer this inside, like a big old, as they called it, a ball of meat. So all of our meat is in the pad. Now what we're supposed to do is close this up. Oh, that <laughs> won't close. It's fine. Oh, that thing's freaking huge. <laughs> so now what we do is we take this and Tara's gonna tie it off with twine. I'm gonna tie it? Just start wrapping. Now that we're done with this part, since what we're gonna put it into a pot of boiling water. Okay, okay, okay. You got a thing? Tie it off. We've got two pots. We're gonna put it into the big boiling water pot. It needs to stay in there for three hours, evidently. But what happens when water boils? It evaporates. So we have to have a second pot of boiling water to add to this pot. And then I bought this big old ladle. The biggest ladle ever. It blocks out this terrace face. It blocks out my whole face. <laughs> this big old ladle so that I can oh scoop water from one to the other if I have to. <laughs> but now we play the waiting game. Alexa, send an alarm for three hours. Three hours. Starting now. Bam. In the video, John says that 
this uh, steak pie needs some mushroom ketchup. So we're gonna try to make some of that mushroom ketchup because that one's actually kind of easy. Here, chop these up into little, again, Sounds a knife. I chop these up into little pieces and throw them all into a little bowl. We got some chopping to do while that thing boils. We got all this freaking time in the world. So what's the magic of editing? The mushrooms are all chopped up. Now they need to sit for 10 minutes just to let them kind of, re they start to reduce. And we'll come back in 10, 10 minutes. Now we add two heaping spoonfuls. He doesn't say what kind of spoons. Uh, salt. Mm -hmm. I said a couple of bay leaves. And now what we want to do is we want to mash it. Wooden spoon. The... Once that's good and mashed, now you have to leave it out for the whole night. Magic of behind the scenes, not even editing. Oh. I made a batch last night. And look how much. Look at the difference between that and what the mushrooms, oh, you can see the sauce in there. So we're gonna move our mushrooms into this large pot. All this one big chopped onion is going in here. And the zest from one lemon. Tablespoon of horseradish. One fourth teaspoon clove. Boom. What, that's the goddamn suet. Hold please Hold. while I go get my suet. Not the suet. My street is flooded outside. It's, it's so bad. Tara, put some, put that image in there. She, it, the the street right in front, like just opened up, and all this water is coming out. Okay, so back to the mushrooms. We're gonna pinch of cayenne, half teaspoon of allspice. I love this very vague. One fourth to one, half a cup of cider vinegar. It's a cider vinegar. I had to look up and find out that apple cider vinegar is cider vinegar, but cider vinegar, it can be made from other fruits, not just apples. Learn something new all the time. Now, do I stir it? Let's stir it. Stir this bad boy. Oh, so excited about this. We're gonna let this simmer for 15 minutes. Is it 15 minutes? Okay, I can't remember things. All right, uh, let's move. So our water is getting a little bit low, so we're gonna transfer some hot fork and water. Oh. Ah! oh my God, we're all gonna die. So a street update while we're cooking. Uh, the, the street is getting worse, way, way worse. The parts are falling in, it's a big hole. It's, it's amazing. We're having a great time though, because there's a cute fireman out there that we get to lick. Stand around and chat with. And flirt with. Okay, hi, pretty fireman. Hi, pretty fireman. Hi, we are not fireman. objectifying those men. Not at all. Next step, we're going to pour the mushrooms through a cloth to strain out the juice. So now what we want to do is squeeze all the juices out of this into our bowl. So we've had this cool enough that I think we can squeeze it now. Got our mushrooms inside here with all that fun stuff. Let's squeeze. Oh, I don't know if it's, oh it's still hot. Those oh, mushrooms that really hold that heat. Oh, it smells so oh, I kinda, good. I kind of think we need to wait still more. I think maybe we needed a thicker cloth, not the cheesecloth. Sorry, the street. The stuff's happening on the street again. This is the craziest day. Oh, this smells. Smell my hand. That's the that's not something you ever should say to someone. What? But it smells really good. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna have some more switchel and come back. You can tell the passage of time by how much switchels in my glass. I started over. This is gonna this is gonna this end. is gonna end well. We're we're okay. gonna squeeze this because okay. it's cold down enough that I can get the rest of the juice out. Hold that for you guys. I want every bit of juice out of this. Eat that okay. mushroom. Okay. Holy no. <laughs> oh my. Why oh is it my. so good? I can't wash my hands because my water's turned off. Because we don't have water? We have to wash our hands in a little bucket. We have to wash our hands in a... We're even closer to 18th century living. Okay, it's all done now, thanks to Mally's hard work. And we just put it in jars and keep it, and we're gonna put it on our pudding in a minute. In a minute. An hour. 
Oh yeah, if you hear sounds right now, it's it's more of the road story. That's that 18th century street Living. work that they do. They're putting in one of them fancy roads. So we have drained this. It's a little, you know, it's very moist. I feel that chair. I'm kind of a little concerned. It's squishy. It's super squishy. I'm a little nervous right now. Me too. This is not going to work out. I want it to work out so much. Me like too. it may peel a little bit. Oh my god. Can you see this? It's oh, like a, a giant dumpling. dumpling. This is like the time we moved that mirror cake. <laughs> it worked. Okay, but I kind of expected this to be a little bit thicker and I mean a little flakier. I mean, do we need to make it rest longer? I think we're diving in. Oh, there's so much juice. Mm. Okay, but we, have to, we need some, some ketchup. I'm just gonna pour a little on the side here. Ooh. A little on the side for you. Yum. That's pretty good. Considering it's a pea, it's oh. mm -hmm. a cheap piece of meat. Yeah. What about the dough? It's a little doughy. Oh yeah, it's very doughy. I think there's it's a pudding for you though. Like you're not gonna get a flaky texture oh, yeah. sitting in water. No, that's true. I wonder if ours was also a little too thick. As far as like attempts, this is actually you know not what? bad. What it reminds me of is like you know like when you have a pot pie and the inside of the pot pie, mm -hmm. the inside of the crust is a little mm -hmm. moist. That's what mm -hmm. it's like. But this mushroom ketchup's delicious. Uh huh. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm gonna say that we colonialed. We totally did not fail. We totally colonialed. No. We colonial if you count using my range stove and. Yeah, yeah. We're good. Yeah, I totally do. Oh my gosh, so this is a delicious meat pie situation. Today's episode, for once, successful. My name is Tara. I'm Natalie. <laughs> And this is Nellie and Tara Try Stuff. I'm going in for seconds. Oh yeah, more of this. I don't even know if this is right, but it's mm. good. Like John, is this is, is this right? supposed to be like this doughy? It doesn't matter. I'm not mad at it. 